we want to simplify the given expression using the rules for exponents provided here on the right. When simplified, this expression cannot contain negative exponents. Let's start by simplifying the numerator. Here we have x to the second, y to the fourth, raised to the fifth. Here we have x, y to the fourth, raised to the negative fifth. It might be helpful to write the exponent of one on this x. So we'll start by applying the power property of exponents. If we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. So looking at the numerator, we'll multiply both exponents here by five. So I'll have x to the power of two times five is 10 and y to the power of four times five is 20 times, we'll multiply these exponents by negative five, so I'll have x to the power of one times negative five is negative five, and y to the power of four times negative five, which is negative 20. Denominator stays the same for right now. Now looking at the numerator, x to the 10th, y to the 20th are connected by multiplication, and so are these two. So all this is being multiplied together. So now we can multiply x to the 10th and x to the negative fifth, as well as y to the 20th and y to the negative 20th. When we perform this multiplication, since the bases are the same, we'll be adding the exponents. So we'll have x to the power of 10 plus negative five is five, and y to the power of 20 plus negative 20 would be zero. Denominator stays the same. One rule I see that's missing over here is that a to the power of zero is always going to be equal to one. So y to the power of zero simplifies to one. So we're left with x to the fifth over x to the third, y to the fourth. We have one more step here. We have x to the fifth divided by x to the third. The bases are the same, so we'll subtract the exponents. And when we do this, if this was a fraction, it would be over one. So the result is going to be in the numerator. So for x to the fifth divided by x to the third, we'll have x to the power of five minus three is two in the numerator, and the denominator stays y to the fourth. And that'll do it for this example.